Hello, my name is Rixus, and this video is for you. Yes, you! The guy who just loaded into the game is waiting for your queue to pop and has very little time before the carnage begins. This series is meant to be a short, bite-sized chunk of information to help you understand what you're about ready to face and how to face it. So without further ado, here is the SPP-1 in less than two minutes. The SPP-1 is a semi-automatic, four-shot pistol that costs 400 gold to purchase. Each shot deals 50 damage with a fire rate of half a second per shot and a reload speed of around 2 seconds, putting its DPS somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 per second. A full unmodified clip deals enough damage to kill Makos, Threshers, Goblins, and Tigers in one clip, assuming all shots hit. All other sharks will need follow-up shots from yourself or teammates. The SPP-1 is quite accurate, with very little recoil or bullet spread, rewarding a steady hand. Despite being a starter pistol, the SPP-1 is a very good holdout piece and is worth keeping if you don't intend on using your second slot with something else. If purchased at the start of the match, the SPP-1 leaves you with 300 gold, which can buy you a sensor gun, a med kit, a sea mine, three sensor buoys, or three flares with $150 left over if you have chosen the flares. Having these options leaves you more prepared for any sharks you might face more so than the other starter weapons. The SBP-1 can be modern with Toxic, Bleed, Tranquilizer, Tag, and Split Rounds. It also has access to the Twin mod, which allows you to fire two SBP-1s at once, doubling its fire rate, magazine size, reload speed, and almost doubling its DPS. Twin SBP-1s are a great investment if you are struggling to collect gold, but need more firepower. Overall, the SPP-1 is a solid starter weapon that can hold its own even long into a match. It does, however, struggle against tanky sharks, but it wrecks speed sharks if you can hit them. A team loader with SPP-1s at the beginning of a match can bring a surprising amount of firepower to pairs, so despite it being a starter weapon, I'm giving the SPP-1 a 4 out of 5. If this literal quick tip helped you out, please leave a like and maybe even hit that subscribe button to catch more literal quick tips. Otherwise, my name has been Verixis once again, and I will see you in the water next time. Bye-bye.